Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We beat the game last time, but now here we are for the beginning of the bonus videos. So I mentioned Final Mix has a lot of bonus content that you can do after you beat the game. And yeah, there are 20 bonus bosses, a bonus dungeon, and tons of extra stuff to do. We're going to fight five of the bonus bosses in this video. Every, every entry in Jiminy's journal has been unlocked. Continue the adventure to define the question mark entries. A new entry has materialized and awaits Sora in one of the worlds. Or a new enemy. Sorry about that. Anyhow, we now have six drive gauges. We got an extra drive gauge for beating the game. Well, how about that? Let's go off to the world map, shall we? So a new episode has been added in Olympus Coliseum. That is a new cup. And a new episode has been added in the Disney Castle. That is the last thing you should attempt in this game. That's the really, 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 really tough bonus boss. Anyhow, what we're going to do today is we're going to finally fight the absent silhouettes. Those things that we've been seeing all over the place now. The game probably wants you to fight those when you pay a, each of those worlds a second visit. So like when we did the second visit to Olympus Coliseum, we probably should have fought the ab absent silhouette then. We could have beaten it. I think at this point we are so over level that they are going to be absolute jokes. But we'll just see. Let's get Donald in our party. I don't think we can take Orin with us. Let's start with the one in Olympus Coliseum. It's an absent silhouette, a shadowy presence with an emblem. Who cares? No, let's check it out. So we're on the ruined Destiny Islands. And we get to fight Zexion. We never actually fought Zexion in Chain of Memories. You do in Re-Chain of Memories. So Zexion, his main element is illusions, and the weapon of his, his weapon of choice is his lexicon, which is just a book. He's also very weak. He has the lowest HP out of any of the members of Organization 13. Yeah, he has left like three bars. What he does is he traps your party members in books. You want to free them. If he traps you in a book, he's gonna pull you into book world and mess up with your mess up your command menu. Like so, yeah. So we're now in book world. So now we have to find Zexy in among all of these books. Take that. Alright, Dispel. This brings us out of Cook World, and now we can wail on him again. He can mess up with he can mess up your command menu when you're in Cook World very easily. Oh, and he's pulling this back in. Fun. Oh boy, his desperation move. Find him, defeat his real form before time runs out. Oh, we got lucky there. I don't know what determines whether or not uh, which one will stop it, but... Get out. Are you kidding? He's pulling us in again? Oh dear. Thankfully, we can heal. He hasn't messed up our command deck, so uh, yeah. Or our command menu. Struggle against all the pages. Alright, get out of there. And for doing that, Sora gets a new item slot, Donald gets more HP, and Goofy learns damage control. So yeah, you can fight him earlier. He can be a little tricky. Also, if you play your, if you play it right, you can kill him before he can even bring you into Book World the first time, which is really funny. We also get a recipe, Book of Shadows, a synthesis recipe that requires special materials. So again, the absent silhouettes are only in Final Mix, and all of these recipes that we get are also only in Final Mix. And we also get a Lost Illusion, a magical ore, an ingredient of item synthesis. 
That's one of the rare synthesis materials. Like, you can only get them via defeating bonus bosses. Alright, Goofy. Damage control. Yeah, that would be good for you. Um... Can you get more AP somehow? Yeah, equip the Master's Reign. Because damage control is really good for Goofy. <laughs> oh, Donald, uh, you can equip... Oh, you can't quite equip Blizzard Boost, eh? That's a shame. Um, I guess you can equip MP Rage, because Fire Boost kind of sucks for Donald Duck. Anyhow, that's the first of the Absent Silhouettes. Next, we're going to go off to... That was the first one up here. Now we're going to go to Port Royal. And go back to the Isla de Muerta. Where we have yet another Absent Silhouette to face. Also, I'm going to equip another Efer on my items. So now I can hold seven Efers in one battle. That's very nice. Breezier. Y yes, Jack Sparrow. Let's go to the Isla de Muerta. Oh no, enemies! Get down here, Sora. Yeah, you can enter the, just the captain's room and then leave, and then bada beam bada boom, you don't have to fight the enemies. Also, is there a puzzle? There is a puzzle piece here. Get that. Daylight puzzle piece. Woo! <laughs> Breezier. Let's try this again. This time we won't get ambushed. All right. Here's the next one. It's an absence of what? Let's check it out. This one is one of the trickier ones for sure. It's Larkseen, my least favorite member of the organization. And she is very tricky. She's super powerful and she has some new tricks up her sleeves. Thankfully, she doesn't have much HP, much like Zexion. <laughs> Yeah, so she can clone herself now, which means that she can teleport around and deal lots of damage. However, one thing is you can also hit both of the clones with the same attack to deal double damage. And I'm going to summon the Genie, because we haven't seen Final Genie yet. The Final Genie is very, very good. Yeah, eat Final Genie. That didn't do as well as I thought it would. Thank you, Donald. And Refluga is your friend in this fight. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's about to pull off this attack. Alright, eat my final form. Oh wait, I have fun dog as well. Perhaps limit form would have been a better idea. Oh well. Yeah, Larxene is this hard even at this point in the game. Can you imagine how difficult she is if you fight her when you do Port Royal 2? Stop DMing. Oh my 
god, she's literally doing nothing but DMing, and she's completely invincible when she's doing this. Alright. Donald, can you please heal me? Donald, can you please- oh no, he's out of MP. Are you kidding me? She wouldn't stop DMing! There was literally no opportunity for me to hurt her, and I even did a finishing move on her when she had 1 HP left. Alright. Well, enough of that. I'm equipping F Fyraga. And I'm gonna show you how powerful Final Form Fyraga is. <laughs> Brought two Fyragas, then wait. Brought two more Fyragas, and it doesn't add to the revenge value. And we just shredded almost all of her HP down. There we go, that was much easier. Sora gets more MP, which is interesting. Donald gets a new item slot, and Gooby gets more HP. Getting extra MP is a blessing and a curse, because, I mean, it's nice to have a little extra MP so you can use more magic, but it also means MP recharge will take a little longer for to complete. It also means that Ethers won't restore your entire MP gauge as well. And we get the Cloaked Thunder recipe. And another Lost Illusion. Alright, cool. That's Lark Scene done. Now we're off to Agrabah. And speaking of Final Form Fyraga, we're off to fight another Absent Silhouette. <laughs> Who Final Form Fyraga is going to absolutely decimate. It's Vexen. So you've seen that all of the Organization 14 members from Chain of Memories have new gimmicks. So Zexian's was that he could pull you into Book World, Larkseen's that she could clone herself. Vexen has two gimmicks. This first one is his shield. So his shield is not as bad as it was in Chain of Memories, whereas in Chain of Memories you literally just had to hit him in the back. Here the shield will follow you anywhere you go, but it has an HP bar. Once it runs out of HP, it will shatter, and then you can attack Vexen before he brings it back. The other gimmick is this weird portal underneath us, which is the Data Meter. If, uh, the Data Meter, when it fills up, he will summon Data Sora to attack us. Alright, final form. We're gonna cast two things of Fire Aga, wait for about a second, and then use it again, and he's already dead. <laughs> Sora gets a new armor slot, Donald and Goofy get more HP. <laughs> See what I mean when I say Final Form Fyraga is ridiculous with Bond of Flame and Fire Boost? And what's happening is that the Fyraga is hitting him and so are the Keyblades in Final Form and it deals insane damage, especially to Vexen who has a weakness to fire. And the reason we do throw out two Fyragas then wait a second is so we don't do the Fyraga finisher. Because if you never do the Fyraga finisher, it never adds any revenge value to Vexen so he can't retaliate and he just has to stay there and take it. <laughs> Vexen is definitely the easiest of all the absent silhouettes. Although Zexion is also very easy if you do the Final Form Fryraga strat. And we get the Road to Discovery uh, recipe and the Lost Illusion. Aladdin's like, what just happened? Don't question it, Aladdin. <laughs> Alright, now we're off to Twilight Town for probably the most legitimately easy of the absent silhouettes but can be very intimidating if you don't know what to do. I'll just say this, Refluga is your best friend. We're off to the Sandlot. Check out the Saxon Silhouette. It's Lexaeus. He was my favorite fight in Chain of Memories and he's probably my favorite of the Absent Silhouette fights. Lexius' gimmick is he has a power meter, as you're going to see on the top. So basically how it works is Lexius' meter, uh, Lexius' strength is basically scaling to his power meter. And as the fight goes on and he loses more HP, his power meter will go up. So when he gets low on HP, he deals a whole lot more damage. We also have a power meter that can go up temporarily when we use reaction commands. Mega Impact is a great reaction command. You saw our power meter go up there for a second. Alright. 
So when he's powering up, he's invincible. Alright. So this is a little tricky because we're not making him stagger from the Byraga. That's okay. Alright. Yeah, look at his power level now. 60,000. Oh, and this is his DM. When this happens, get ready to spam Replica, or that'll happen. Uh-oh. Uh, MP Rejoice, better pop an Ether. Look at that power level. Thank you, Donald. Oh, great. How is he not dead? Ouch. What the heck? How is he not dead? I, like, can't hurt him. Perhaps I should revert. Stop doing that! Remember when I said he was the easiest? Why is he not dead? There we go! I get a new accessory slot, Donald gets more HP, and Goofy gets another item slot. Wow. He just would not stagger from anything. And at the end, like, even though he was at 1 HP for half the battle, like, he just would not die. I have not- I have never seen that before. Well, we defeated Alexius. We get the Strength Beyond Strength recipe, and another Lost Illusion. Alright, well, hot dog, I get a new... Oh, I had a new armor slot, too. Oh, I'm stupid. Why didn't I put anything here? Uh, Aegis Chain, sure. Oh, I should take Riku's stuff from him. Slayer Earring. That would be pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna go with Slayer Earring. Cool. Alright. Only one more absent silhouette left to deal with, and in my opinion, it's the hardest one. This is like the one that you really should wait for Endgame to attempt. Because you're gonna attempt it as soon as you go back to Beast's Castle, but you're gonna get your butt kicked if you do. We're going to the Beast's Room. Right here. So, by process of elimination, you can figure out which organization for a team member from Chain of Memories this one is. It's the final boss. <laughs> Marluxia. And he is really, really tough. So Marluxia's gimmick you're going to see right at the very beginning. <laughs> I wish it played Lord of the, uh, not Lord of the Castle, Graceful Assassin here. <laughs> so at the start of the battle, he's going to walk up to us and whisper something into our ear. And then this counter is going to appear above our head. That counter is going to be equal to whatever your level is. And that is a Doom counter. Every time he hits you with his scythe, that counter will decrease. And if it hits zero, you die instantly, no ifs, ands, or buts. Now thankfully his scythe doesn't actually do damage. But you still want to avoid being a And look at all that HP he has. That's the main reason why Marluxia is so difficult. Alright, well let's final form Byraga him for a bit. That got his HP down. Okay, now he's gonna make these rose pools. Oh, 
Oh wow! How did I immediately go to zero HP? I do not know. I told you this guy was hard. <laughs> I went from full HP to zero HP in one hit. What the heck happened there? He's not that powerful. Can't equip Drive Converter, I'll equip Defender, why not? It's not going to do anything, but why not? I suppose I could have maxed out Final Form if I wanted to make it even easier, but it's good that at least one of these is giving me a challenge. The Combo Pluses combined with Combo Boost and Decisive Pumpkin are going to make my combo finishers insane. Goodness, Tinkerbell's here to bring me back to life. Sora did not do at all what I, I said to guard and was a quick run? Okay. Probably should have summoned Stitch in that site. Stop summoning these Dane Rose Pools. There's also a reaction command you can get where you can throw his scythe back at him and bolt uh, up your counter again, but it's not appearing. Why wouldn't it let me pop an Ether? This is bogus. This is serious bogus. It would not let me pop an Ether. Sora kept quick running into the Rose Pools. Why do Rose Pools instantly kill you? That makes no sense. Yeah, it's 
not mean to do that, but all right. MP left. How the heck did that happen? Oh gee, thanks Donald for healing me when I didn't need you to. But not a moment before when I actually did. Harder than I remember it being. Like Summon Stitch. Because I remember you being able to pull out Reflect anytime you wanted, for any reason. Yeah. And now it's like, no, you need like a full second with that before you can pull it out. Thank goodness Stitch ain't going anywhere. for the ukulele stitch. Okay, now this is his desperation move. This is where we're gonna go into glide. I hope that we miss all of that, which of course we did. Thank you, Stitch. <laughs> This was the right time for the ability. I don't remember him doing this in any of the Chain of Memories games. He's got some new tricks. Stitch, stop turning these into air combos. Air combos are nowhere near as powerful as ground combos are. Oh boy. <laughs> if only I had max level glide. You know, it would be great if you could throw at me that reaction command again, Marcusha. 
big stiff. Seriously, he's only pulling out that reaction he's made once the entire time. Why was he not giving out the reaction command? What a stiff. There we go, restore count, but uh, this is back when we still have our max count. It would be great if you could guard while you were in midair. It would be so great if you could do that. I would very much like that reaction command to come back, please. But no, Marmusha insists on only doing his annoying moves that don't actually give me the reaction command that I need. Seriously, he's doing every move except the reaction command move. Okay, Marmusha officially has no pattern at all. Like, every time I attack him, he can just teleport away for literally no reason. And he freaking never brings out the reaction command! Attempt number 10 or whatever. This guy is stupidly hard. I literally looked it up. Apparently he'll only give you the reaction command if you avoid his attacks. Not actually like block them or attack him. No, no, no. You literally have to like just jump around his attacks. Not that it particularly matters because he just spends the entire battle making these stupid rose petal pools, so you can't jump around them. And you basically can't get even an attack in because if you try, like half the time, I'll just teleport away and then hit you with his attacks. There's no rhyme or reason to whether he will avoid it or not. If you catch him right as he goes to the center, though, with like a fire aga, then you can't stop him from taking the rose rules. But it's very difficult to do. There we go. Yeah, take that. Yeah, in your face. Alright, well that's going a bit better now. Does the long swipe at the end, it means he's going to uh, means he can give it the reaction command, but only if you avoid every single attack. is you always go too far away and then you can't get to the reaction command in time.
least this is easy to avoid. Oh, and this is even worse. If you're doing a level 1 playthrough, if he hits you even once, you're just dead. Because your counter will always be at 1. Because remember, your counter at the beginning is equal to your level. Get an extra drive gauge down and you'll be get more HP. Yes! At last. He has way too much HP. Like, Marvelisha shouldn't have that much HP, but for some reason he does. Thankfully, though, we get the best recipe for him. We get the Eternal Blossom recipe. That's a really good one. And we get the final Lost Illusion. Well, I say the final. We can get more. All right, now before we end the episode, we gotta hand over a whole bunch of stuff to the Moogle shop. Synthesize, handed over all synthesis materials, we handed over all recipes. Recipes, we have the Shock Charm, that's what we got from Larkseen. The Shadow Archive is what we got from Zexian. Full Bloom is what we got from Marluxia. Centurion is what we got from Lexius. And then Frozen Pride is what we got from Vexen. All of these, however, require tranquility materials, which you can only get from the uh, Organization 13 Mushrooms, so we're going to have to wait until we can get those. Lovely. We can, however, finally make a Mithril Shard, and use a Bright gem, or bright Shard and an Energy Shard, and boom, Mithril Shard. Awesome. Now we can make a Mithril Stone, which is the upgraded version of the Mithril Shard. Lovely. We can make the Arcasus Plus, highly increases Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder resistance, and greatly increases defense. And those are all recipes that we have yet to make. And because we just made the, the Mithril Shard and the Mithril Stone, we have to go back and hand them over again if we want to actually be able to use them. Kind of funny, that. Anyhow. One last thing I think I'm going to do just before I forget, and I meant to do this at the very beginning. We're going back to the world that never was and taking Riku's equipment off of him. Yeah, you heard that, Riku. No more. No more. No more. Oh, the accessory cannot be unequipped because of, uh, he has too many abilities equipped. No worries, you can equip the Technician's Reign. I won't miss that one. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be trying out the new cup we unlocked in the Olympus Coliseum, and who knows, we might also end up going back and getting all of the stickers. Because, simply put, uh, the cup is really short, so I'm going to have to pad the episode out somehow, and I think getting all of the stickers will be a good way to do that. Either that, or maybe I'll max out Final Form, or both. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.